Hi there, the Greek Solid Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I've had a recent request on how I lit this board game scene, so I thought I'd just cover how the scene was created. It's actually very simple lighting, just a large quad area light. It gives some nice, soft, realistic lighting and shadows, and adds to the overall realism. Okay, so start off, got the scene geometry here. I'm just going to create an Arnold area light first. And go to the side view. I want to scale this up quite large so that it covers the entire scene. So something like that. And then we want to make sure we've got three uh, sample areas, light samples for, for the quality shadows. But it's dark at the moment because our exposure isn't high enough. So let's just increase that by 20. And enable use color temperature and just give a, a warmer, give a warmer feel. It's like 5,000. I'm actually using the Intel image denoiser. So under render settings images, I've got the imager denoiser here. Just clean up the noise in the scene and there's a white balance and a lens effect for the vignetting. Okay, so let's start off by assigning a shader to the geometry, so standard surface shader, and give it a warm, a nice sort of plasticky feel. Make sure the IR is set to plastic. 1.55 and can increase the subsurface scattering, change the subsurface, match the color for the subsurface and make the radius a bit darker and change the uh, type to render up to better quality subsurface scattering. So we want to keep the scale and uh, the radius quite high because we want that sort of soft uh, waxy plasticky feel. And then finally, we can add some depth of field. So I'm going to select the main hero here. Go to object details. So that's 519 centimeters from the camera. So we select the camera, go down to the Arnold attributes and enable depth of field. Type in 519. So that's a simple overview on how to render a board game scene in Arnold. Thanks for watching and bye for now.